Obesity is a major global epidemic that affects everyone. All age groups, all income levels, all countries. Worldwide, obesity has more than doubled since 1980. Rates of being obese or overweight soared 28% in adults and 47% in children. At least 3.4 million adults die each year as a result of being overweight or obese. Not to mention, the global cost of obesity has risen to over $2 trillion annually. The impact of obesity is far-reaching. It leads to physical and psychological problems. Chronic diseases like diabetes and cancer, higher health care costs, lost productivity for businesses, it's a catastrophe happening in slow motion. In past decades, society's been inundated with diets, exercise programs, devices, potions, and policies, but none have worked to control this epidemic. These attempts have failed because they're focused on individual factors, not the complete system driving obesity. Our Global Obesity Prevention Center at Johns Hopkins is the first center in the world dedicated to bringing a systems approach to obesity prevention and control. This means addressing all of the complex systems that affect our diets, physical activity, and health. This includes our genetics and biology, our behaviors that drive what we eat and how we exercise, our social connections and interactions, our environment where we exercise and get our food, our culture, including the media that we're exposed to, economics, such as how much we make and what we can afford, and the policies of governments and organizations. Our Global BC Prevention Center is a mind meld of experts from a wide variety of disciplines, including fields that have not been traditionally associated with obesity, such as computer science and engineering. Together, we're developing innovative solutions and approaches. We're creating virtual representations of entire cities that include virtual people moving about their homes, schools, workplaces, grocery stores, and parks. It's like SimCity. We've actually used these models to help decision makers test different policies and interventions all within the safety of the virtual world before trying them in real life. In my research, we use techniques like brain imaging to look at how some of these factors affect our thought patterns and our biology. We meet with caregivers and peer groups to teach kids how to make healthier choices. We work with store owners and suppliers to help them stock and promote healthier foods and we partner with city officials to help them implement different policies, such as increasing urban farming. Whether it's ADHD drugs or antibiotics, there's a correlation between many common treatments and accelerated weight gain. Our study suggests that people need to be aware of what's going into their bodies, the food they eat and the medicine that they take. We as researchers need to understand the broader systems around us and how they contribute to weight gain. Our diet and physical activity are really affected by what we can afford, the types of foods that are available in our area, and messages from the media. Many populations throughout the world don't have the means or access to healthy food. We believe our system's approach could improve and save millions of lives by transforming obesity prevention and control around the world. Join us in our fight for a healthier society for everyone.